Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. All right, before draining it, open up the radiator cap on the expansion tank and it'll just let air in so it'll drain faster. To get this lower radiator hose, we've taken the wheel off so you can see it better, but you can do this on the ground and just turn the wheel. We're gonna have to move this splash shield and just peel it back. So I'm gonna take my seven millimeter ratchet, I'm gonna take out these seven millimeter screws. Now we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver or a trim clip tool and just kind of work it under, get these barbed clips out. That one's loose, put that aside. It's got three different style push clips up here. You gotta kind of work uh, either the screwdriver under the side of them, or you can use this trim tool. Then you kind of get it under there and you can pull out the middle and it will unlock them. Sometimes the middle comes out, that's okay. Just pop out the rest of them like that. Take this, the splash shield, just fold it up and out of the way. So we're gonna drain the radiator of this vehicle by removing this lower hose. Uh, there's no drain on it, so we're just gonna undo the clamp here, work it off the gooseneck, and then it's gonna just pour out. So you wanna make sure you have a drain pan ready to catch all this, because uh, it's, it's gonna be a significant amount of coolant with this big truck. All right, so I'm gonna use these pliers here to undo this clamp. You gotta squeeze it together. It takes a pretty good amount of force. There's actually a little lock on them. And this is gonna go, I'm gonna work the hose off with the clamp right now. So this little lip here, uh, is like a little drain guide, I guess. Uh, we're gonna just pop this hose back on here. Now the majority of the fluid is out because we're gonna go up and remove the expansion tank. Take your pliers, squeeze this clamp back together. Work the hose back on. Make sure it's fully seated. Release the clamp. That's on there nice and tight. So after you put the hose back on, just take some paper towels and dry it up as best you can. And then when you're all finished with the project, you can take a, a hose and, and uh, some soapy water and just kind of spray it down to get rid of all the residue from the coolant. All right, so we're just gonna put this back here for now so it's out of the way. But we're gonna go up top and work on the coolant expansion tank or uh, Reservoir. Okay, so we're gonna use a 50-50 mix of Dexcool because this truck is a GM product. Uh, and the total capacity of this truck is about four and a half gallons, but we didn't drain any, anything out of the engine, just the radiator, uh, so it might take less. But we're gonna start by filling it up here. Uh, and then as soon as it's full up to the bottle, we're gonna let the truck run. And uh, after it cools off, we'll check the coolant level again. All right, so we're gonna put the cap on and we're gonna let this start the truck and let it run until it's hot. Okay, so as soon as I started the truck, it pretty much sucked in the gallon of coolant that I poured in here. Since I didn't measure what we took out, I'm just gonna add another gallon until it's full again before I restart the truck. Refill the coolant reservoir and run the engine until it reaches normal operating temperature. Once that happens, you can let the engine idle for about three minutes. Then you can shut the engine off, let it cool, and then go back and check to make sure that the coolant is at the correct level. And you can top it off as necessary. 
We're going to put this plastic uh, splash gel back in. You can use this, one of these little barbed clips kind of stayed there, so you can put that back in to hold it. You can get the other barbed one that went here. Now we're going to put those other two push clips, those bigger ones, were up here. Kind of work them into the hole. And then you push the center in. That locks them. These can be a bit tricky sometimes if you squeeze them tight like that. And then you just push them in, it's locked. Now there's two screws. Those had little seven millimeter head heads on them. So just kind of get them st started. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.